We are in Texas, and here is the Lucas Oil top fuel ladder as we're in the semifinals. What a big matchup, big implication in the points. Corey Mack and Tony Schumacher will be, and then it'll be the friends, Brandon Bernstein and J.R. Todd. When it comes to J.R. Todd, I talked with John Stewart. He said we have the same compression, the same blower overdrive, the same everything in this car. The only thing that's not the same is they're over in the left lane, but they think they can run a low 390 here and take out Brandon Bernstein. Yeah, the two great friends that had uh, had the matchup last week, and that one came out uh, in favor of J.R. Todd. Brandon Bernstein is going to give it away to J.R. what almost was a pedal fest. Yeah, Morgan Lucas is happy, and J.R. Todd goes to the first final of this season, his first final in a Lucas car. Wow. Boy, it's been a long time. What a year this has been for JR. Take another look. Brandon Burns is going to smoke the tires pretty much as soon as he hits the throttle. JR is going to go a little bit further down track, about 100 feet, 150 feet before he starts spinning. He backpedals the car, gets it to recover, and gets the win because of that. Now, these two cars, this is the first time both of these cars have spun the tires all weekend long. The most, two most consistent cars out there, and this is what happens. Spinning the tires is way too aggressive at the hit of the throttle. Brandon trying to get that car to recover just couldn't do it and as a result J.R. Todd is in the final and Brandon Bernstein his uh, winless streak now goes to 27 events but Morgan Lucas yeah finally he's got something to cheer and top fuel eliminator and it will be Tony Schumacher with the lane choice over J.R. Todd and Gary Gerald has J.R. right now. Man, it's been a long time. First time this year to get to a final. I think you have to go back to Topeka early last year. You remember what it's like? Yeah, I can't even remember back that far. It's been a long year, I tell you what, Gary, but these guys, they never give up. They're working hard and uh, you go have a little lucky round uh, every now and then. I think that was it, but uh, you know, I just seen the machine went 402 and that's a uh, it's not unbeatable, so we'll go up there and race the track and not worry about him. And uh, Alan Johnson's by far the best dude out here. And, you know, we got to beat the machine. He keeps calling himself that. So if I do my job and we go A to B, it's going to be a hell of a race, I think. And I remember a couple of years ago in Denver when this young man got his first win, it was against the man who drives the machine. This is it. Top Fuel Eliminator. Tony Schumacher and J.R. Todd. We'll show you the wins by lane with the left lane definitely dominating. But Alan, Alan Johnson walked out to the line several times and looked at that left lane before he decided to keep it. Well, we kind of thought that maybe he was thinking about switching lanes, but I think he was out there looking actually where he wanted Tony to leave from. I heard him tell Lanny McGlizzy that he was probably going to move a little bit towards the inside of the groove to get off that good rubber on the launch. And then it's up to Tony after that to keep it in the middle of the lane. So Alan Johnson brings his driver Tony Schumacher forward and uh, this was just a few moments ago when they were checking that lane out and finally the decision made that it's good but we'll just move over a little bit. Now J.R. Todd will face Tony Schumacher and he last won a race at Houston in 2007. His winless race streak right now stands at 38 races. Is he about to break it? Well, it's going to be tough against Tony Schumacher, but he's had a very good race car, Jared Todd has, up until the semifinals when he spun the tires. We'll see what happens. Look at that race! Wow. Look at that race, and it's over for Schumacher! A whole shot win for J.R. Todd! The dry spell is done! The winning streak is done, all in the matter of 3.91 seconds. Look at J.R. Todd. You think he's excited? Hey, this kid knows how to race Schumacher in final rounds. I mean, he got his first win in the final against in Denver and then did it again on the Western, same Western swing in Sonoma, and now he's done again on a whole shot. Great job. And Dave Reef is with Morgan Lucas. The first two people over to shake the hands of this entire team, Alan Johnson, Don Schumacher, a class organization, but the streak is over. You're pretty fired up. Oh, man, can't tell you how proud I am of JR and that old team. Our whole team. This is a uh, so back half of the year. Everybody's working really great together. And I gotta say, JR, he's a great driver. He sticks it out there and you know buckles 
down never. I mean, he's always on top of his game. And you know what? My dad's at home. He's going to be pissed that he's not here right now. And you know what? Uh -huh. I'm here. You're not. We're having fun. Lucas Oil, Dixie Chopper, everybody. We're going to keep doing this. Hopefully, the car keeps going around the rest of the year. I'm jacked up. I'm missing the football game. But you know what? I'd rather be here right now. Don't worry, Forrest. They're bringing home a Wally. Well, it's the second time this year that Tony Schumacher has lost on a hole shot in the final round. We haven't been talking about Schumacher losses for a very long time. And here are the points. Uh, Tony Schumacher still in number one. Brandon Bernstein, he got to move up two positions with that one. And because J.R. Todd's not in the countdown, he has uh, only impact in terms of pulling some points away from Schumacher. And let's go to Tony Schumacher. He's with John Kernan. Well, Tony, you and I talked this weekend about the possibility of winning out. You said it was going to be way too tough, and you finally the streak is over, beaten on a hole shot. Do you start another streak next week? Yeah, yeah, we're going to go out and try to win the race. You know, a hole shot's hard to say, man. I went in pretty thin in the finals. Uh, you know, I was kind of running a, a 80, a high 80, and uh, it just didn't do it. But, uh, you know, it felt like it spun a little bit down track. I don't know what they ran. I'm sure it was a pretty good solid race. But, hey, you know, eventually someone's going to beat us. There's a lot of great cars out here. And uh, he didn't get to the finals by luck. You know, he got to the finals. because we're a good race team. And for the U.S. Army, we've won an awful lot of races. Uh, it's been great to be a part of it. we still got four races left, man. It's going to be a good time. All right, we'll see you next week. Let's go to Gary Gerald with J.R. Todd. Here it is. We look at the reaction as he came out of the car, and yes, it was memorable. Three of your six career wins have come against Tony Schumacher, and I know no love lost there. There's special satisfaction, isn't there? Tell Not us about all. it. There's one person I could be out here on a daily basis to be that guy right there. I mean, they're the best team out here, and that's why we come out here to race, to beat the best. Alan Johnson, the machine, Tony Schumacher, they're the best. They've how many round wins? How many wins you got? Starting at one next yeah, week. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I'll take mine right now. And, uh, I got till next week, but uh, guarantee I'll be celebrating until Friday come Memphis, you know. But, hell, these Lucas Oil guys, they've been busting their butts. We were one round uh, wonders. Now we're uh, event winners. It's about damn time. Congratulations. Yeah! Wow, just a great old drag race. JR was on it. They talked about staging shallow. Both drivers stay shallow because they had very yeah. good 60-foot times. Just a great old drag race with JR Todd getting the nod.